This is my fucking jam, yo! Have you previously attended a performance of The Colonel's Bequest? Let's just no. say no. Because it's been like 20 years. <laughs> Will! Is this like hey, Clue? Hey, get out of there! Get! Get out of there! Get! <laughs> He's signing it. Gil Henker A. Dongle. What? D. 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 Dijon. Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> Do the word smiley face. <laughs> or, I guess, bra? I don't know. I don't know, it just kind of looked like boobs. Da -da! Oh, it's over. There oh, wow. Yep. Get ready. Oh, this ouch. This is a lot of colors. That is a lot of purple. Yep. Ugh. And this is a gastro new share with Lillian. <laughs> Though a bit tired looking, it seems comfortable enough. <laughs> Look at her tiny mouth. Laura, dear, please excuse me. I'm going to freshen up in the bathroom. Why don't you explore the estate for a bit? I don't know, but I I'll bad. probably be dead by the time you get back. Yeah, probably. So there's like a knife, like in my face. Boo 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 boo. Okay, bye. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I forgot I had the knife in her head. Holy cow! That Look at nice. how orange she is. She's, She's like Trump's very child. Orange. Ugh. Very orange. She's like a grapefruit. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. Everybody's acting too strange. Even Lillian. Why would Daddy? Oh wait. What would Daddy do in a situation like this? Be Daddy. Oh, that's, Look oh. at Daddy rich money bags. Oh, I guess. Uh, uh, there's so much text. <laughs> oh, wow. Weird. Nom, 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 nom. Honey, if things don't feel right, they probably aren't. Observe the situation closely, yet be unobtrusive. Explore your surroundings quietly and carefully. <coughs> Why do I always do voices that hurt my throat? Because you're weird. Try to question the others. Okay. <laughs> Try to question the others without raising suspicion. Notice small details. Take lots of notes, and above all, be careful. Boop. So, are we like trying to figure out murder? Moida. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Since you'll never go anywhere without your trusty notebook and pencil, you go to your suitcase, open it, and remove those two items. Okay. Writing. Yes, your father is right. Observing the situation with taking notes would be a good idea. We, we're just, like, thrown into this shit. We don't know anything. No. Yeah. Click. Let's dig through Lillian's shit. Woo! No, it won't let us. Can't go through that. While you try to get through that door, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> Fucking... Why are you trapped, you stupid bitch? One, one, one. Um. Go? Go. Go. <laughs> do it. I can't be... Oh, thank you. Where do you... What's stopping you, bitch? What is stopping you, bitch? Come down here. Go in the door. 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 She has to go farther down. What you... <laughs> Suck on you, stupid bitch! Move to the right. Move the cursor to the right. I'm trying. <laughs> this entire series would just be Laura <laughs> hits door jams mm. over and oh, over and uh, over. Go farther up. <laughs> Frustration at not being able to move well is <laughs> pretty. Funny. I'm like getting. Look at how far down the screen I am. Oh my gosh. Laura, please. Laura. Laura. There's nothing there. Laura. Laura. Oh my god. <laughs> Squeal wow. Where? <laughs> Laura! Please! Laura! I'm, I'm, I'm right in front of it. It is right there. Go, you... Go, Bitch. <laughs> This is you, Dijon. Above the fireplace, you notice a picture of Colonel Dillon. Oh, wait. Colonel no. Dijon. Dijon. Dijon? Is he must Colonel Di Mustard? Di Dijon. Yep. Colonel Mustard! It's glue! I bet that's exactly why they called him Colonel Mustard. Yeah. In his younger, more vital days. On the opposite wall, you see a picture of a little girl. Funny, the girl's eyes have a strange hollow look to them. That's not funny, that's disturbing. Yeah, that's not... That's no, so I think bad. it's not funny, haha, -ha, it's like funny weird. <laughs> this elegant room must be the colonel's. you notice there is an elevator here. Mm, fancy. Who's this bitch? Bam. Oh! It is we now have time. 7.15. Who are these bitches? Who dis? Who dis? <gasps> <gasps> Ooh. 
Henry Dijon is a frail, ill-tempered curmudgeon in his fate, oh, late 60s. You understand that the colonel never marries and lives an eccentric life of seclusion here on the Bayou Island. From observing the estate, it appears that, it appears that though he is supposedly wealthy, he may spends little money to maintain it. I can speak all the words. Fifi! Fifi is Carol's pretty French maid. You surmise that she is probably very active her duties, whatever they may be. Fifi is young, blonde, and sexy. She seems to have a vicious personality, but you can sense a certain cunning underneath it all. Fifi, you're such a bitch. Fifi? Fifi, you're so extra. <laughs> is busily cleaning the Fifi is busily carrying the blah, blah, blah. Is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? Sucking his dick. Let's go in his bathroom. It doesn't appear that this room has been used in a very long time. However, it currently seems to be the guest room with Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. Get, go look in it, you stupid bitch. <laughs> You're not much of a detective, are you? It's Dr. Fields' bag. Dr. Feelgood? Dr. You can see an old dresser in the corner. It's, it's odd to see a new fangled elevator in this old-fashioned house, but how else would the kind of go up and down the stairs? Carefully. Oh, magic. Carefully. We can't think. go in it. We're right. too... We're too... Polite. The miracle of plight. <laughs> <laughs> Go down. <laughs> I think Laura's secretly d uh, blind. <laughs> hey, a person! This must be the library. You've seen many books of various and sundry topics displayed in the bookcases. Tucked on, uh, tucked into one wall, you notice an elevator shaft. Maybe the shaft that goes to who's this? Who's this? Who that? Who's this? Who that? Who? Jeeves. Most of the sofas Obviously. look very old and dusty I'm and uncomfortable. About the sofas. What? <laughs> I don't even know. Click on Jeeves. Jeeves. Okay. Dr. Wilbur Seals is a pudgy man in his mid-fifties. He seems to be a nervous type and sweats profusely. Oh, delicious. You wonder about his medical practices and if he ever samples his own wares. You gather that he has been the colonel's personal physician for many years. Can I talk to you? Wilbur seems to be very interested. I thought I was him. supposed to talk to people. Anyone in here? This appears to be the colonel's study as, as a large desk dominates the room. On the desk you notice a small glass case. At the back of the room, two large cabinets also catch your attention. Hey, Fifi. Currently, Fifi looks... Okay. Okay. Let me be a narrator. <gasps> we see a large globe in the corner of the study. Can there I has to be something, something else that we have it? to do. Um. Hmm. Let me go look up controls really fast. Wait. Huh? What is that doing? Where? What is she doing? What? What is this button? She's the dancing. wiggle button? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's the wiggle button. Do it. No. <laughs> Go to nearest object and... <laughs> oh, you broke her. <laughs> Wiggle. Go to kernel and let's see if I can type, like, talk or something. Words. <laughs> Hello. Make words. Make words that Dr. Feels. Uh, so you're just talking to him. He's just not responding at all. You're like, hello, and he just... No, no, go you. back. Go back. This is as good as we're gonna okay, get. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we just come up behind him and we fucking hey. whisper. Uh, talk to doctor. Ah. Hey. Hey. Ah, so you're Lillian's friend. Laura, is it? You look very nice, Laura. Very nice indeed. Ugh. Dirty old man. Accurate. Okay. Uh, well, let's go try and talk to Fiefers over there. Fifi. 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 Like, get close to her. I'm trying to get the fuck out. Catch her. Catch Fifi. <laughs> Try okay. another way to say that. Go Try another way yourself. to be. <laughs> Try another way to not be a batch. <laughs> <laughs> this game does not understand. <laughs> fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Delightful. Perfect. <laughs> this game does not understand. This game don't understand shit. shit. <laughs> Delightful. Uh, Get it. her. Talk, talk, talk. Oh, oh fine. Fuck you, Fifi. All right, whatever, Fifi. You don't fucking Fifi's talk to me either. Fucking bitch. Fifi's a bitch. Bitch. All, All right. Bitch. Well, nice to what know up? that we can talk to people now. Bitch. Yeah. This is a very elegant dining room. It looks like the Colonel has some class after all. Yeah, I guess if you like pink. I was going to say, if you like bright it's, red chairs and, and cyan tablecloths. And magenta floor. Oof. <gasps> Doge! This Doge. house has a nice big kitchen. Doggo! Right now you see... Right now you see Seal... Seely. Seely. Seely? Is that I guess. Seal? Washing oh. the dinner... Washing the dinner. while Beauregard has Touch found the a warm spot by the stove. That's His name is such Beauregard. A dog Touch name. Doggo. That is such dog. Touch dog. 
Beauregard. Beauregard oh. appears to be very old and lazy bloodhound. His loose skin hangs in folds and his long ears almost drag the ground. You sense that Beauregard must be the colonel's beloved dog. It's the colonel's oh. only dog. Uh, pet, pet dog. Dog. Pet dog. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Aww, oh. Oh, this is a good game. I don't care what happens, but this is the best. Yep, this is a good game. Siri is the Colonel's cook. She is an overweight black lady who, on the surface, seems to be distant and unfriendly. However, you sense that she is probably a very nice person. Just, wow. Well, Minding her own business. business. Wow, okay. You have heard that Siri practices voodoo and you wonder about this. Because she's black, she wow. must practice voodoo. Wow. Talk to Seely. Also, she does not look very overweight Seeley. at all. No. What the fuck, game? Oh, I wow. gotta get these dishes done for the Colonel get mad. Go on with you now. Wow. <laughs> with you. <sighs> how do black person... <laughs> That's how. <laughs> how do I black person? Did. This right here. What is that? Lettuce. I'm trying to just get to the fucking doorway. Touch the shelf lettuce. French doors lead outside. Touch Go the outside. Shelf Go outside. What? 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 Fuck you, game. <laughs> just do that. Just do that yourself, bitch. Old fashioned icebox. Turn butter. <laughs> Open icebox. Aha! Leftover soup bone. As it might come in handy, you grab it and take it with you. Yeah. I want to give it to Beauregard. Hey. Oh, there was a sound. See, that's give why I'm bone to headphones. Beauregard. Gov. 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 No. <laughs> give bone to God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Eagerly begins to gnaw on it. That's what a pupper. Oh, my God. Oh. Let's see if you Oh. Oh, he's chewing on it. How cute. Yeah. What was the point of that? I don't know. Now Be a nice happy. to dog. Click on the milk, the churner. You were nice to a dog. Oh. That's all that matters. And we can't churn, churn butter when there's no butter to churn. Churn butter. <laughs> this game does not understand butter. Whatever. You... How do you butter? But it understands churn. I guess so. I guess there's nothing else interesting in here. Jump in fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't accomplish anything. I mean, Au contraire. You would us. burn to death. That would accomplish something. It would something. accomplish quite a lot, I would think. Open armoire with key. Oh. Okay. You yeah, hell yeah. Oh, oh my god. Wow. This is an exquisite statue of a Who's dancing satyr. Can, can we pause for a second and listen to the uh, nighttime outside noises? It's really weird sounding. Why yeah. do you do this? I think you should just go back Fart. inside. Fart! Go through the arbor. <laughs> what is it? This supposed We're to be down. like a frog? Oh, that's right, guys. You want to make it the corner of the old mansion against the back wall. You notice a sculpted marble bar, and in the corner, a parrot swings from its bird stand. Burb. It is. Apparently, we spent fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes fucking around. Yeah. Who this bitch? That old bitty she half slashed most of the time, and she is a young friend of Lillian's. Hi, I want to hear about the old sloshed bitty. Talk. I want to see who that is. Got true Dijon. It's the Colonel's widowed sister-in-law. She obviously is behind the times, and she looks like she just stepped out of the gay nineties. A bit of a snob, she walks around with her nose up in the air, and she and has an annoying habit of constantly making with her, playing with her many strands of piles. Who dis? Clarice Sparrow. Oh my god, what's a dapper looking man. He's He's late dapper looking. From what you have gleaned, he has been the Colonel's attorney for some time and seems to know the rest of the group as well. His manner's a bit of on the cut side, and you can sense a bit of sneakiness there. Well, he's a lawyer. Alright, let's talk to the Let's lawyer. talk to a uh, not sloshed old biddy. Gertrude? Please leave us, Lara. Oh, fuck you too, bitch. Who's this blonde bitch in the pearls and the thing there? Who's that guy? No, no, no. Claire. No, no, no. A. Hey. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, there you go. E-N-C-E. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey. Hello, Parrot. It's like fucking, uh... A colorful Parrot swings merrily on the porch. You should talk to Parrot. You should say hello. Say hello to Parrot. Say hello to my friend. Maybe it will say hello back. <laughs> Pretty Polly. Ah! Oh. Ah! Good parrot. That's delightful. You have found the Colonel's billiard room. Funny, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would enjoy playing billiards. Same thing. Listening to records on the Vitrola or listening to piano. Player, Player piano. piano. Took me 15 oh. minutes to get out of that fucking room. Who you, bitch? Who dat? Who dat? 
It seems that Rudy Dijon is Gloria Swanson's brother and Gertie's son. You surmise that Swanson must be Gloria's stage name. Rudy is a handsome man and anyone would be attracted to him. But you sense an undercurrent of hostility in Rudy. A sense uh, that he should not be crossed. Unpleasant. Yikes. Gloria Swanson is a beautiful platinum blonde as the colonel's other... She looks like and Eddie Gertie's. Luther. She does, yeah. <laughs> Gertie's daughter. She seems so glamorous with her long feather boa, stunning jewels, and lovely gown. You've been told that she's a successful actress in Hollywood, although you've never heard of her. Talk to Gloria. Darling. Darling. What are we supposed to be talking about, anyway? Ask about Fifi. Oh. She ain't to be trusted. Ask about Gloria. <laughs> she's right there. <laughs> Gloria's, Gloria's right there. Right here. <laughs> Yeah. Why is he answering all the conversations? Because I think we're but closer, to, we're him. closer to him. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we should get right up on Eddie's here. Eddie's art. Eddie's art. Uh, uh. Ask about fiefs. Fifth, y'all fee. I like how she's just fucking ashing all over the carpet like yeah. a total bitch. Cheap, Cheap trollop. trollop. Wow. Touch piano. Play piano. <laughs> Touch piano. Play. You never learned to play piano, but there's a winding mechanism. Oh. Wind piano. <laughs> there's a piano in the room. You're in the room with the piano, so fuck you. Toots. And now you know what we should do? Leave. <laughs> Wind the piano and fucking get out of here. Yep. Peace. Bye. Da -da -da -da. So yes. Lillian decided to just fuck the fuck off, right? Yeah. She's been in the bathroom for like eight hours. <laughs> Old and lumpy. Mm. You're not going to be doing much sleeping tonight anyway. Yeah, Fifi's going to be keeping you up. <laughs> that is a rad horse painting. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Magnificent, not star. quite. Palomino on the wall. Could it be the colonel's horse in better days? Funny, the horse seems to have a strange vacant stare. Because they right. all have eye holes. Jesus. Yeah. Let's try to go in the bathroom. Open the bathroom door. Open the pod bay door. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey. Okay, Lillian must be back in the other place. That's a fancy-ass bathroom. Fancy. Use Lord. toilet. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other game this uh, developer you did? No, they did a lot of games. I guess we could shoot Larry's at the same time. Hmm. Nothing important in here. But Are we like going to find no anything else. important at all? Is anything going to happen? Is the colonel going to die? We, all say. we found is a bone and gave it to the dog. That is literally like all we've done. Around. Oh. Ethel is, Ethel is stylishly, stylishly dressed overly made up older woman. Many years of hard drinking have taken the toll on her as her face is puffy and red and her skin has wrinkled prematurely. She always seems to have a drink in her hand. You have ne never met her before, but Ethel is your friend Lillian's mother. But who is Ethel to everyone else? Who is Lillian to everyone else? <laughs> no morals than a rat. A has no right to pick on me. Huh? Um, excuse you. Rats are very lovely creatures. <laughs> Rats are nice. And have actually been proven to show altruistic behavior. Wow. Unlike this douchebag. Touch Fifi. <laughs> Try another way to say that. Lick Fifi. <laughs> Lick Fifi. Uh. Grab Fifi. <laughs> you can't get her. You can't get her. She's too she fast. Look at me. Grab Fifi. All right, Fifi. Oh, my God. Okay, oh. we're going that way, I guess. Right. Oh. Hey. oh, it's daylight? No, it's, this is what it looks like for some reason. Right outside of the colonel's study. Yeah, it's not spooky out here. Oh, are you actually going places? Wow. You are standing at the west side of the circular gravel driveway leading to the old plantation house. What is this oh. over here? What the fuck? What was that? I don't know. Bell. At the top of an old bell tower, a rope dangles a short distance beneath the bell. Behind the fence, you also notice the remnants of the old plantation fields. That don't do fuck. Oh, oh it's lightning. 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 Oh, that's some Burp. farty sounding thunder. Burp. You have come across a ramshackle little playhouse hanging from a nearby tree. You see an old rope swing 
seeing those other playthings makes you wonder about the children who used to live here. Maybe Gloria and Rudy, who are literally right there. Squirrel! Squirrel! Swing on swing. <laughs> Your fat oh, ass no. broke it. You broke it. How embarrassing. Ha ha. Aww. Where does this place come from? Come down, oh, around that damn carriage house, old crates have been piled before one of the doors for obvious reasons that have not been used in the carriage house for some time. Because of squirrel. Because of squirrel. I think we're, we must be in like Louisiana or something. Louisiana. You can't see the gloom of the old carriage house, parts of a decrepit carriage lying in the right corner, and a small robot named Minnow rests yeah. in the corner. It's in all caps. Look inside the decrepit carriage and find a crowbar. Hey. Thinking it might come in handy, you take it with you. Oh, hooray! Hey, this Finally. is. Finally. Things are happening. Things are happening. Not Look really. in. We're just boat. mostly finding shit. Squirrels are That's rampant. Really if this wow. was Louisiana, wouldn't there be like sixty-two alligators for every square inch? <laughs> wow, the owl. That's a fucking crow. That's a very. Oh, pays little owl. attention to you. Oh, he has little ears. Say who to owl. Who talk to owl. <laughs> how funny how it doesn't understand who, but it can say who. Who yeah. who. Hello, owl. Mm. Oh, on the west corner of the island, you see an old latte in the babistos. Baba baba. Have a 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 who what? is definitely not a Palomino. No, definitely not. That is a poor looking horse. Pet horse. Aww. <laughs> Didn't say okay Aww. this time. His eyes open wide. If it was a nag, wouldn't it be a female horse? Open wide and his ears twitch uncontrollably. Yeah. I wish you had a snack for him. I know. Uh, look at Blaze. Blaze must have once been a beautiful stallion, but now, beautiful with many stallion. passing years, he has been reduced to an old, broken-down nag. You guess that must he must be that. Okay, maybe okay. a nag means something else, I guess. I don't know. Maybe eventually you have to open the gate, and that must be Blaze's old bridle. Take it. I don't think we need a bridle unless we're into some kinky shit. Why not? You never know. <laughs> Let's do this. Open gate. Run free, Blaze. Oh, uh, yeah. Or kill us. Wow. Whoops. Oh, shit. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Game whoops. over. Uh. All right. Good job, guys. That's it. Yeah, that was really? Curl's bequest. We died to a horse. We died to the horse. Really? After fucking petting it, that bitch. I know. Shit. We never saved. You're a dead ringer, Laura. Oh, my God. Wow. Fucking music. Die to a horse. That's the worst. That's it. That's it's it. Done. It's, it's done. Over. That, that was Colonel's bequest. That's the worst. Bye. Bye.